originally it was only seven pages, but that was when it was eleven point font. Um, and now now it is just over eight. Hey, look, we're back. Okay. Cool. Woo. So we're still getting cameras sorted out just a tiny little bit. Yeah. It looks like only the last two are off. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's better than I expected. Welcome back, everyone. That's Hello. That's definitely me. Hello. Uh, so you guys are just in time. What we're going to do is have Tristan recap um, the first the 24. 20 <laughs> 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 okay, so we got... All right, I'm going to just... We have, like, a bunch of people where the player's shit happened. We went to a city, <laughs> killed a guy, dragon snake boy awoke, went to another city, tons of destruction our wake. We've destroyed, like, two cities and, like, a bunch of shit. Uh, and now Goose is approached by a very French man uh, very and has the choice of leaving the party uh, <laughs> oui. or, like, leaving the party to go do his faithful thing or not. Oh. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, yes. That is definitely it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're back. We're live. I can see everyone but Riley, so we're definitely getting oh, no. somewhere. What hmm. happened? Yeah, hmm. you I see him. Riley. Do you? I see him. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, scrumple bottom. I mean, it's fitting Henry. because the episode picks back up with Henri Clasper staring with his Eustace, you know, beady little eyes squinting at the tiny form of Goosebert Crumple Bottom. Oh, and he's gone again. There he is. Okay. Uh, I'm refreshing. Hey, there he is. Oh, Yay. I did it. Oh, boy. Why does Roll20 hey, want me to log in? Yeah, it won't let me pull out my character sheet either. I have to have it closed within. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, cool. Well. Oh, yeah, same. Hmm. That's fun. Hey. All right. So oh, Goose. On your whiskers. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Okay. Oh, Goose. So Goose turns to the party. Little, little tears in his eyes. He's just like, sorry guys, but I feel like justice needs to be served and that there's a bigger purpose for me out there. And I know you guys will do fine without me. It's not like I do anything right anyway. <laughs> Goose. Oh no. And, and like, I, I think at this point, Dri Drip is trying to like kind of see if he can get any of the rest of the party kind of on board with him and he like like pulls out and points to the friendship bracelet that he has and that I'm assuming everyone else has and it's like you've done a lot right for us Goose you've done more than you could imagine I hope so when I find a way out of here you better believe I'm gonna find you guys we'll make sure of it where's Duncan yeah, and the camera just kind of slowly pans <laughs> up and to the right, and there's just a bat just <gasps> circling. Duncan, take care of the bat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know in your heart that he heard you, but you also know that if he shows up, Henri Clasper is going to kill him for being an abomination. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you decide yeah, not to yeah. press the issue. Yeah. Hi. We're gonna miss you, Goose, but we'll see you again. Yeah. Most definitely. Nico um speaks up too. He says, I quite literally wouldn't be alive a couple of times from where for having you around, so thank you, Goose. And hey, keep that pouch on you. I'll send some notes back and forth. Oh, How, what's course. the range on that thing? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll <laughs> yeah, test we'll its limits. I'll draw so many pictures for you guys. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't have anything just yet. I can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Like, no, go ahead. I, I have one last word for Goose. Uh, and and I, I walk over to it and I put one weird bird hand on his shoulder and I say. Brush teeth every day. Bite cavities. <laughs> That's right. Make sure you do it. 
It's an old Strong. reference, but it checks out. That was an episode <laughs> one reference. I didn't have that in the recap. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think uh, Henri, you know, he has a little, I think he still has that little book out with the quill and everything, right? And he's just like quickly taking some notes, scratching something down and he clasps it, you know, loudly tucks it away inside of his, uh, you know, little try-hard trench coat, nods once and says, uh, yes, then, now we go. Yeah, now we go. And he looks kind of at each of you and nods and says, Zio Ora, very difficult. Yeah. Perhaps... We find you again. Goose, please will it. do. Yeah, and he 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 does like a half smile, right? No teeth, just hmm. You know, maybe maybe this little guy does does pick some good friends, you know. And uh, he starts walking off. Um, so I, I you'll have to remind me because we might not have been exactly clear. Um, I was under the impression we were still in Dustow, just getting ready to leave um, when he found you. Oh my I goodness. I thought we were on the road. It wasn't like... So what happened was, it was we were walking with the plan of heading to the cave. Like, yep. the plan was we were going to go to the cave. There was something that uh, the that Grim. Grim needed there. Yep. And... We could still be in Dostow? Like, I don't know. I'm assuming before we did that, we would have all taken a long rest. Like, yeah, so I logically. think... Yeah, I think this happened, like, coming out of coming out of the Grimm's place that night. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys are still technically in town. Um, so okay. if there's anything you want to do, if there's anything you want to visit or buy or, or, or say to anybody, you totally can do that. But then otherwise, we're going to pick back up on the road. Mm -hmm. Just uh, uh, making sure we all get a long rest... Yeah. And, um, uh, oh yeah, Nico has something he needs to pick up. Yeah. We've got some, uh, some goods to acquire. Hmm. <laughs> it's good. Oh yeah, it's a good thing that it's happened now, not when we, uh, Alan Marie not showing up then. Yeah. <laughs> good goods to pick up? Uh, yeah, I think. I got a betrothed to good. escort to Cornstalks. Mm. Oh, that's true too. Mm hmm. What will she try and, will she try and kill us? Maybe. Cool. This is the deal you made. Duncan did all right. <laughs> <laughs> I I meant more on the way. Uh, I I've crafted certain means that will kind of keep her, um, you know, unable to do so. Right. Let's hope so. Yeah. So this time you were able to go to your house with or your uh, bar with no issue. Um. Is there something in particular uh, to get into the basement? Because I know it was... Oh, come on, Kitty. <laughs> it's just being very naughty and needing a lot of attention today. As oh, cats man. do. As cats do. Please do not attack the mouse. Ugh. The cats oh. attack mice. Yeah, I know, that wasn't yeah. supposed to be a joke. He's just literally <laughs> attacking the mouse. <laughs> You're so um, naughty. In terms of getting into the basement, there's nothing special about that, but... Um... Oh, Nico, through his practices of artifice, has kind of uh, on the stone walls, one of the stone walls of the basement. Um, he's created like certain, you know, through a, a series of runes and um, concoctions, he's managed to mask the uh, the creases of where there would be a doorway. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, so he um, goes through the same ritual he has many times to, you know, you know. Ch check certain parts of the wall, touch certain spots. There's a small incantation he does, and um, you know, the door kind of recedes. Right. And That's there nice. she is, half dead cat lady, uh, chained up and with like a, you know, kind of like I would say like a muzzle almost that keeps her from being able to bite. Sure. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. It's a risk right now. She's mindless. Yeah. Um, um, does she still have claws? 
No, she's got like uh, you know, kitten mittens. <laughs> You'll be smitten. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a thing happened. I can't see the screen. Ooh, Anonymous Ooh. is now following. Thank you, Anonymous. Sweet. I'm sorry. I like Anonymous. That, thanks, Anonymous. Both of my hands are <laughs> currently trapped holding up this cat that wants to attack everything on my desk. Cat? Bat? Cat? Yeah, her, her, her power when she's a vampire is yelling cat and turning into a cat, but nothing happens. <laughs> can, you, uh, can you roll me a d20? Dan, yeah, I want to know, relatively speaking, how good or bad the the time away has been to uh, your betrothed. Not great. Not not Ooh. exactly great. So I think then it's been more about, um, you know, you said kitten mittens, but then otherwise hands are free. Yeah, I mean, I'd say they're kind of like handcuffed together but there's like a good amount of distance like probably like about a foot of distance that's allowed between them mm -hmm. um and you know they're they're chained and i'd say it's like a a fingerless metal gauntlet that is over not mm -hmm. fingerless but it's like a i don't know hey no you can't attack that yeah shape that goes over her claws mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think when you kind of come into the room, and are you going alone, or is everyone kind of following you in? Um, I almost think that I kind of would have asked for a moment alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go That's ahead. Reasonable. Yeah, because, um, you know, like, the this this will get gross, so apologies to anyone that doesn't like it getting gross. You know, like a um, uh, an animated corpse doesn't necessarily stop decomposing right like the magic can can kind of slow some of it down you know subsequent castings can do that there can be treatments and reagents and everything and i imagine as an alchemist for many years you've done a pretty good job of keeping her you know in fairly good condition right yeah um i think for the most part yeah but you know time away and all of this other adventuring we've been doing <laughs> yeah and that's you know we're we're a couple months of travel at this point you know i don't even think it's like five total i think it's probably like three or so um but they have definitely created the situation in that um and, and I, I apologize i always ask and never remember her name anara yeah anara has definitely like bashed you know her kitten gauntlets into the walls created all of this like awful bruising around the hands and the arms and, you know, like, not much blood because there's not much left in her or anything, but up against the wall. Um, and you can see that, like, they have tried to scrape their way out of this cell. And, and if the door is at all visible um, from inside of the room, right, they have, like, traced the, the edge of the wall many times. Trying to just, like, find their way out. Yeah. I, I think... Nico has a hard time looking her in the eye. Um, kind of looks to the ground and starts to uh, carefully, like, unharness, like, the chains from the floor and the walls and things like that. Um, and have he's a little choked up. He's He knows he's still making a tough decision here, and he just kind of says... I told you I'd find a way. So, well, now we're going to go, I guess. Um, you know, and that's kind of how he leaves it. Right. I mean, and unfortunately, if you're looking for a response, one does not find you, but... Right, yeah, he's used to Thank the you. silence. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Sam. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Ooh, two months Resub. Stream, but subscribed for 11 months thank you thank you long boys that's that's my mom spam those long boys <laughs> supporting the stream hi mom <laughs> hi um yeah i and i think that we do the camera thing where we see like 
the shadow interrupting the camera a little bit, right? Like very close, but we we focus on you and your reaction to this scene, like what you said was kind of talking to yourself and not expecting a response and not making eye contact. We see you kind of averting your gaze and looking away, right? But it's shot like extremely close up with, you know, just like a, a camcorder to, to make us feel like we're right in there with it, with mm-hmm. you just feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, what happens, like, when you bring Anara out to the party? How do they react? You know, I never pictured her as being a tabaxi. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's so funny. It's really funny. <laughs> uh, so I, um, I who would say something like, uh, "If you if you're gonna need any help with this, you know, just just say the word. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm ready if you need it, but you know, obviously I'm not gonna." Do anything right away. He's he's being really nervous about it because he's actually like this is what he's been trained to fight and kill. Mm-hmm. But also like this is his friend's like loved one, and so he's mm-hmm. really torn. Like even more so than Duncan. So what the heck? Yeah, uh, I think Nico kind of turns quickly as though he's about to snap at you, um, and. Instead, he just kind of holds for a second and says, there might be a time, but it's not now. Let's get to corn stalks first. Okay, well, you'll, get... you'll know when that is, but I won't, so you have to tell me. It's just, just thank you, Boo Boo. And thank you all for coming with me on this. No problem. We're in it together it's true not not even close to the weirdest thing we've done or the thing weirdest thing we'll do <laughs> okay. let's, let's get going um so uh we can make the the path directly out to corn stalks and there might be a very good and compelling reason to do that um, but I will tell you that it is not in the same direction as going to the caves. Um, so I just want to check in with everybody and see what our thoughts are there. So is it like exact opposite or just no. like not the same? Yeah. Um, you head north out of Dustow, um, and the, the uh, he who walks behind corn stalks is 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 northward too um but it means kind of going into the east more um and and you 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 can kind of jut out and then kind of double back um Mm -hmm. and take some time some extra time if you want i don't know that uh the grim gave you like a specific time frame for this caitlin this is a bigger deal to you will you be okay if we do the sidetrack Yeah, I think it'd be fine. Okay. Cool. Let's get get going. All right. Um, then I will take one uh, nature and one survival check um, as the party begins to uh, re uh, return to to their their old locations and fo- kind of follow their own trail. Mm-hmm. Um. So one not one from each person nope okay two from a group of four currently all right i have four in both of them if anyone beats that Uh, i've got five in nature if you want to snag snag nature i've got four in survival it's it's here it's not trained so my mine's not trained either it's just we got good wisdom yeah um do, yeah, do you I'm want to, or do you want... All right. Go, go for it. I mean, I don't think it would make uh, oh. sense. <laughs> nice. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, two days Fun. of... 
travel out of the city, and I'm going to... We're just going to kind of... It's easy to get out of the city. It was harder to get in. Um... Especially nowadays, so we're gonna we're gonna ignore that for the sake of not having a bunch of arguments and elongating um, a party member being gone. Mm-hmm. I do want to um, note that Goose definitely drew a picture of every single party member with like extremely muscular, and he stuffed it in the bag, hoping oh. that he'll find it. Was um. Z two in the picture? I feel like. He was, but he wasn't as muscular. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, yes. I, <laughs> I assume you meant the current party. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, I yeah, mean, just... the current the current party, yeah, but, you know. If I if I may, um, <laughs> I, I think if if Puru knew that those were there uh, on the way out of the town, he would he would see those pictures, and then he would go up to each of those wanted posters and post them over those pictures and be like, that's better, and just keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really funny scene. <laughs> you like, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that looks, uh, like, guys, I, like, guys oh. I fixed it. Thank you, Good now. It's just They'll like never us. know. Yeah. <laughs> some bounty hunter shows up. It's like, I'm looking for some really muscly yeah, dudes. But, damn, this group is jacked. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not, not where the hassle will get. Uh, oh. Much. This just, you flexing there, Dave, made mm. me have a very quick anecdote from out of game. Mm. Um, you know how Duncan's big thing was saying big strong? Oh, yeah. Big strong. Yeah. Now, whenever I make eggs or, like, rice or beans or something for Remy, how I get the, him to eat it is by saying, you're going to get big strong. And so he <laughs> ate some eggs yesterday, yes. and he said, mmm, big strong. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Our legend continues. continues. Beautiful creature. Right? It's so good. Wonderful. The Electric Dice Podcast. Educating the youth. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, I'm very sorry about the survival check, guys. I mean, the nature wasn't much better. Mm-hmm. It was better. So I, I will surprise no one by saying that you went the wrong direction. Honestly. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we knew that was happening. Um, now, you know, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some artistic uh, liberties um, with this. You are not in the mountains yet. Um, however, Riley, what would you think about your new character having been pushed out of the mountains because of a particular problem that's happening oh, that might be related to uh, why the party needs to go into the caves? Would that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you, boy, this is going to sound familiar. Um, you are separated from your your clan or your family or whatever you want to consider them. Um mm. So I want you to paint us a picture of kind of what you're doing, what you look like, remembering that, um, you know, Dustow and the Pale in general are very, um, like, very, uh, like, near permafrost, like taiga, sort of, you know, like, thin, cold rivers, rocky, you know, edges, and, like, big canyons shot through with, like, narrow, um, I think they're called, like, slot canyons. Okay. Um, you'd see this, uh, small, little green, three-foot, uh, tall, uh, goblin with a big old spear. <laughs> just kind of, like, slathered in dried mud, just over by, like, the river, and just kind of just, yeah, just kind of hopping and jumping and stabbing, like, little creatures and stuff and skewering with them with his spear. Kind of like saving them for delicious meats. <laughs> okay, so they see right. you. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just kind of like hunting, pretty much. <laughs> should, should I tell him about Paylor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm just picturing Gollum hunting. That's all I can think of. <laughs> this one's <laughs> disgusting. He throws it back into the river. Pretty accurate, though. <laughs> Goose was always the one who would start conversations. <laughs> yeah, no one knows how to interact. Yeah, we're, um, we're coming up, but we're coming upon you. So, yeah, yeah, so like the goblin in the river. Yeah, picture like a very, um, you know, narrow uh, river. Hmm. Um, hold on. Three feet tall, right? 
taller or shorter than Goose? Um, gosh, how how tall was Goose? I she think was Goose shy. was a little bit taller. Oh, that's Let me pretty check. Sure. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Because three feet is like a toddler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Remy's actually taller than that now. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, no, they're they're about the same size. Oh wow. I mean, <laughs> like Goose was regularly just lifted by people, so yeah, no, it, it fits. <laughs> yeah. Um. So Riley, go ahead and roll a perception too for your 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 new doodly. All right. Let's do this. Maybe it's broken. Maybe it's not. We'll find out. <laughs> Oh yeah, where are you, Perception? Get over here. Ooh. 16. Okay, so I think you see the party. Hello! No. Ah! <laughs> he starts waving the spear. It's like, <laughs> I'll get ya! I'll get ya! <laughs> Guys, I'm really Dude, bad at this. Are any of us carrying any visible weapons? I have a stick. Right. I think I have a dagger. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot here, you. but mine's gonna be not like in my hands or anything. Right. You, so none of us appear armed, really, right? I mean, Pooh's got his crossbow, I guess. But right. it came a little glance <laughs> over at him as he's waving the spear, and just kind of like a wave her hand dismissively and keep walking. But, That's right. No, you we, keep on walking. We don't want to fight. I, this is my delicious we, meaties. No, that's fine. Also, do right. we realize that we're terribly lost? I was just going to ask the same. Yeah, same. <laughs> I, think, exactly, yeah. I think that you've been, you know, kind of following the river the same way that you did last time, but it's mm -hmm. something to do with the transversal and, like, bleeding into the um, Ravenloft that you're like, no, the, the mountains haven't gotten any closer or further, but we also haven't seen that kind of, like, gentle rolling hills into valleys like we would have expected for Whiskey Hollow. Mm -hmm. So you're, yeah. you're, uh, you're getting the idea that something's not right here. Do, do you know this area? I think we're lost. Maybe. Maybe not. Anara's with us, right? Yep. yep. Undead kitty. <laughs> yep. That's why I'm a little preoccupied. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. we, we are, um, looking for, uh, Whiskey Hollow, uh, the town of Bankrupt, um, or, and then after that, we are looking for the, um, the, the mountains that I have, the Rakers Mountains. Can you help us find those places? Why would you want to go there? There's so many delicious meaties around you. Well, we have business in Whiskey Hollow, and uh, we have to get a thing from the mountains. And then so, a bunch of jerks. Yeah, to so say, Riley, you were you were in the Rakers, and now you can't be in the Rakers. You can, <laughs> you can do a um a history if you want to know uh, yeah. about um, Whiskey Hollow. Sure. Um. Where and then I'm curious, you? how old are you? Uh, 15. Nice. How was uh, that in goblin life? Goblins live short lives. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> about, it's, it's about kind of old. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, about halfway. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm, about, I'm about ready to end it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you might know what whiskey is. I hit history, there we go. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know whiskey yeah. hollow then. Oh, no, wait. No, do the they top ones. Twice. They rolled twice. Yeah, I rolled it twice. Yeah. Oh, it? oh, you don't know Whiskey Hollow, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was... I, I can't go back to the Rakers, man. <laughs> it's like the clink. <laughs> yeah, yeah it does sound like a prison. Are we thinking... Oh, it's like Rikers Island. That's what I'm thinking. Kinda. <laughs> um, you guys seem lost and dead. He kind of, he kind of like shimmies his spear towards the the zombie cat. Only like three, two, three, two and a half of us. 
Mm. Is Duncan still with us? <laughs> oh, three <laughs> and a half of them. I don't know. I don't know. We haven't solved that particular problem yet. <laughs> oh, if, if it was, we probably. Oh, I don't know if he would know the way either. Um, so I think Boo would, would speak up a little bit if he'd say, you know, I've heard a lot of stories about goblins, but I've never heard of a useful. So, are you going to help us and be the first one I've ever heard of? Or... <clears throat> and how tall are you? And he just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's, he's like puffing out his chest because he's like. Another thing I'm taller than. <laughs> the reason we don't help people because y'all suck. You just met us. Maybe if you get to know us, You'll we can be friends. We can be friends. Meanwhile, Nico's in the background, just kind of like shrugging and nodding, like, "Yeah, we we yeah, can we do." <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, well, I I know a guy who makes great friendship bracelets. Oh. So. Um, but they suck too. Who would <gasps> <laughs> no. say? All right, well, if you don't want to help us, maybe you need our help. And oh, we could do some sort of deal. Yeah, you were. You can't deal. go back to the Rakers. Why is that? Mm, reasons. If we don't know the reasons, we can't help you. Uh, maybe you can help me another way. How? Hmm. Hmm. With the Rakers. <laughs> yeah, with the Rakers. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So, hmm. yeah. Um, now, Riley, you are you get to decide, like, how many people have survived these particular attacks and everything. Um, but with the connection to uh, Ravenloft, which is normally a great time for goblin kind... Um, the mountains themselves, maybe it's because it's been so long, maybe it's because there's something in them now. Um, a lot of the the deeper desidens of the mountains have been pushed, you know, upward and outward, which has put them into conflict with you and your tribe. Um, and the things that are coming out of the mountains are not at all normal or familiar. All right. Weird creatures that you don't recognize. Ooh. You can help me dispose of these weird creatures. <laughs> They've we've, been stealing a lot of our precious meaties. We've dealt with some weird creatures. Wait, before we commit to helping, what do they look like? What do they look like? Um, oh yeah. Please don't be frogs. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> do a, um, do you have Arcana trained? Um, I don't think I do. Oh, no, wait, yeah, I do. Yeah, go ahead and roll Arcana. Alright. Mm, ooh. Okay. Really want to so, yeah, so... I think that this is the, the moment, because, like, up until now, I don't know that anyone is like, we're dealing with a particularly intelligent uh, goblin, because no one has ever thought that before in their entire life. Correct. <laughs> um, so wow. what what is it that suddenly kind of gives away that not only that this goblin is you know fairly intelligent and fairly aware of itself, um, but has some some formal or or, or perhaps uh, useful arcane training, right? Because you're not just like dripping in magical shinies, are you? Or are you? I don't know. No, he's, he doesn't like shiny. He doesn't like wearing shinies because then it's like reflective and things can see him. Gotcha. I think he's dripping in mud. Yeah, he's currently covered in dried he's, dried mud. He's currently dripping in mud. Got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure that he just got like you know a lot of guidance from his uh his pact um with uh what was it the Raven Queen stuff. She's oh. pretty, pretty knowledgeable about that. Hmm. And what does, remind me real quick, what does the Raven Queen think about undead? Um, that is a question. That sounds like a question asked by someone who the answer. Yeah. <laughs> you think I just, like, 
ask things knowing what's going to be said? Yes. Yes. Well, the first thing that I read was just searching Love. Raven Queen Love. and Undead. It says the Demon Prince of the Undead seeks to claim the Raven Queen's throne. So they're probably not besties. They're probably no. siblings. Uh, <laughs> that actually sounds about right. I'm trying to read what I have for the Raven Queen. Nothing mentions like. the opinion of the undead. What is the opinion of the undead? So yeah. you're obviously, you know, allowed to modify and take doctrine um, in your own way. But typically, the Raven Queen seeks to keep uh, the dead dead and the alive alive and not let the two mix. Okay. So if you would like, because that's not a thing we went over uh, too much when you were building the character, if you would, because I didn't realize you were going to play up the the Raven Queen connection in particular, um, if you would like to um, say it's not the Raven Queen, we can do that. If you want to say it is the Raven Queen, but there's not a lot of understanding of like the grand and glorious mission that the Raven Queen has given you, and in fact it's more like, look, it's a really good stick. Um... That is also okay. I like the really good stick. Also, um, you know, I, I understand that it might be a good idea for delicious meaties if uh, you keep an undead around. It's kind of like a snack as you go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just thinking, since we have multiple undead in the party, um, it will draw you immediately into conflict with them. Um, oh boy. And in a way that I don't think the character will be uh, able to stay yeah. with the party for long. No. What, what I just I... have everything set up for... Like, and not, not trying to to break fourth wall. Uh, if, if you're Hexblade... Um, like there, there are other ones. Also, I thought the Raven Queen had a, like a specific pact thing that might be under the Arcana, though. Sorry, cats are cornering each other. Um, the the Hexblade is kind of for some reason very locked in as like the Raven Queen has left these weird weapons around, and you bounded with a weapon. So I don't actually ascribe to you have to be part of the Raven Queen to have a, a Hexblade. Um, yeah, I think that it just has to be uh, an evil weapon or a dark <laughs> weapon, right? Um, so yeah, Riley and I will will build into that a little bit um, at another time. It just occurred to me it was a thing we were going to have to address pretty quickly. Okie dokie, makes sense. Um, so, wow, yeah, sorry. We got extremely <laughs> off-tangent. Um, so, yeah, the question I asked was... What do they look like? Yeah, what yeah. do these creatures look like? Um, Riley, mm -hmm. I'm going to private message you, um, and then okay. you can tell them, because I can give Ooh. you direction, and then you, anything you say is fine. <laughs> nice. so many shenanigans happen right now <laughs> it's, it's episode 25 things are going to get shaken up i'm so <laughs> like my my thought process for this is all paranoia just like like hmm, what could be going on paranoia is next week yeah uh, watch me the totally good innocent civilian be great where am I getting message? Am I getting like message on Discord? Yeah, Is Discord. If he messaged you on Roll Twenty, we could see it on the stream. Oh, uh, he yeah, can't private okay. message on there. Oh, on the stream, he said. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where? There it is. Is that? Oh, uh, is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Simon, are you being rude? Mm -hmm. Is there another so they got, there? Is that why you're attacking? They got many, many arms. Like, the heads. Like, triple, double heads. You know, the, they got so many eyes on them. Like, 
bunch of eyes. The kind of the kind of gross taste, and not gonna tell you how I know. <laughs> got, got little meaty, meaty slugs. Pretty dark. They they're alive. It's, I don't know. They're they're from, they're not from here. I know that. Um, they're clearly gonna take our meaties. They do seem pretty. What, what what would I roll to try and have any guess of what that is? Uh, you can roll in nature. Okay. Flo, oh, that worked great before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and you get the idea that he's talking about probably only a few things, right? Okay. So what what jumps out at you as being probably the answer? Is being probably the answer? Yeah. Um, well, like me as pro probably Drib, who's likely checked over some beast years, and me as a player who's seen the monster manual, I would guess some sort of undead thing. He didn't mention a ton of mouths, so that's good, but lots of eyes? Multiple heads is what kind of throws me, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I know there's some aberrations that get funky with, like, multiple of weird stuff. Um, but specifically, I'm, I'm as a player, thrown by what has multiple... Because I'm picturing, like, two multiple heads, weird, like, tentacle body... The black slugs thing? I don't... I'm guessing was a separate just monster. Could just be black slimes? I don't know. They got, they got these weird, like, powers. Head oh, powers. Oh, no! Don't don't be illithids. Do they have face tentacles? Uh... Mm, I am, yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's mind flayers and Dilla. Okay, so d do you say that out loud, like in character? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, do we all do we all know what those are? Now? Uh, your fifth level adventurers, you probably have heard horror stories, but I don't think anyone has ran into them. Okay. Uh oh. I know they kill you and will kill us. <laughs> oh no. It's also Multiple like heads? Yeah, also if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense for the Gith and the Illithids to be having an amnity. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's their, that's their jam. So, so um you say you you say you know how they taste. I'm not gonna ask details, but does that mean that you've killed them? Oh, I, I mean, we, we certainly try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, well, yeah, did you try you, killing you, it by biting it? I mean, I tried that before. It, it didn't work too well, so I stab him with the pointy end instead. Right. That's what I'm good at anyway. Do you mean? That's how does I got anything, my name. Does anything work particularly well with them? No. Mm. Pointy? Yeah. Stem? <laughs> uh, about two dozen hirelings, you don't care if they die? I mean, my magic works pretty good. Ooh, okay. Oh, That's you have magic! Oh, yeah. I, I'm, this this spear is pretty good. <laughs> it seems if you ca I'm sure you can catch lots of meaties. Well, yeah, you know, the delicious meaties. Ah. You know, Mr. Goblin, you seem to know an awful lot, but we don't even know your name. Mm, uh, uh, my name is Ak. <clears throat> Ak the Kebablin. <laughs> is, is it because you, you have the spear? That's the you. sound they make when I shish kebab them. Ah. And that's why you're the Kebablin. Ak. <laughs> <laughs> This is my punishment for breaking Goose slowly over twenty four episodes. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think in the in the movie this is that got to be played by Danny DeVito. Like, <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> he's just oh, that's so good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> stay right. younger, skinnier Danny DeVito. <laughs> I, I'm I'm just gonna try and come up with who would play who in this now. No. And, all, right. and all I can come up with for Omri would be um, 
Peter Dinklage. <laughs> oh, that's actually not bad. I think really? he would do a good job. He has the range. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, all right. Well. So. Well, right. since we're all being right. formal, what are your names? Well, Adrian Brody. You sassy plays, child. Plays sassy Brody. child. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's one of the better nicknames people have given me over my life. But um, my name's Pooh. Um, I'm kind of newish to the beer, but. That means you are now, and so that means that I'm no longer the. And That's so true. now you're the new guy, and now I get to make the rules for you. <laughs> he's, yeah, we'll see how well that goes. He's all about just making like a stupid power play over everything right now. Mm. We didn't, we didn't <laughs> do uh, that to you, did we? Well, I mean, for a little <laughs> while, I felt like I was just like falling around, but you know, I'm not mad about it. It's just. It seems fun to be on the other side of things. Wow, you guys got issues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the hazing now. Now that I'm doing it. Bring back yeah. second edition. All right. 25 no, episodes. Great is. job, everybody. Thanks so much. Dave, no. You with the walking meat. He points to like the tabaxi. What, what are you doing? Is this the kind of meat you eat? I mean, sometimes you can't find delicious meaties. You gotta resort to other meaties. You stay away from my meat. <laughs> you won't like it. Alright. Just a little nibble? Nope. No nibbles. Breaks out a <laughs> spear and like points back. <laughs> <laughs> You're proficient in the spear too. I like you. <laughs> yeah, mine will come back. How about yours? Mm. His will probably come back. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, but it sounds like a really good spear. I don't know. Yeah. If I look through my gigantic list of things that my spear can do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Drib. It's nice to meet you. Mm. I had a chicken once. It was very delicious. Oh. <laughs> People say that, yeah. Oh, this Almost. is Blossom, my my pumpkin friend. I go to eat it. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I know, like, ah, I'm just, ah, it tastes like dirt. I would not have let you take a bite out of Blossom. I lick it. You, I, that's probably <laughs> a really bad idea. Given pre uh, you don't want you don't want to try it. You don't want to get addicted to this guy. stuff, kid. I, I knew a guy who tried it. Uh, it ended real weird. <laughs> All right, fine. What about the super quiet one? Who are you? Th th this, this is a, a, a Lenora. It's uh, Nico's fiance. She doesn't talk. No, wait. The other two. No, the one. other one. <laughs> the one that's not saying anything. And he, like, jabs his spear over towards Kale. <laughs> I'm Kale. Okay. He's just standing there with her arms crossed, staring at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just I realize I didn't actually say my name at all, but... <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Uh, you you got you got meat. It's good. <laughs> well, it looks like you caught some meat there too, Ack. I'm Nico. This uh, meat you're calling her is my fiance, Anara, or would have been. Maybe someday will be still. That's no way but, to uh, talk about your fiance. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's up to her. <laughs> um, that's. She's why we're heading to Whiskey Hollow. Sounds like you might be able to cook us up a little fire here. Can you help us out? I can make us a fire. Uh, yeah, I can burn stuff. Pugu just looks forlornly because he spent so long that one episode trying to prove that he can make fire in, in front of the cat, Tabaxi, and, <laughs> and now he's like just so blah, like dejected that he doesn't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> well this is more he said that uh, he could do magic but then he referred to his spear as magic like as he was trying to divert that he could do magic 
Uh, so trying to get him to see if he does any to do this. Oh gosh, what is it? You don't use a spell slot for a cantrip, do you? No. 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 All right, cool. I'm going <laughs> to freaking Eldridge blast a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he so can do magic. I think that's force damage, right? Yeah. So I don't think that does it either. I force it so hard that the sticks rub together. <laughs> I mean, you showed that you can do magic. <laughs> Wait. And then I let it fall on me and I hellish rebuke it. <laughs> <laughs> that seems... That's... That's just fire with extra steps. <laughs> that was maybe a little unnecessary, but yeah, more than magic hands. He can make fire. I can make fire uh, only like once a day. <laughs> uh, that's it. I gotta sleep, you guys. <laughs> yeah, what do you have? Two or three spells right now? Two. Okay. So you, two. So you spent one of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it. Yeah. Poop is just like off, like saying to yourself, like, I can do this all day. That's just all you can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Poo, now you don't have to do it all day. Right. That's valid. We have <laughs> Ack do it once a day. Uh, this seems like maybe not a good plan. The hack summons up 50% of his magical powers. <laughs> <laughs> to light one, f to do something that Drib can do with two different cantrips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so that being said, the, uh, yeah, put the fire in the bag. Just put it in your inventory. Um, yeah. <laughs> that sounds, I mean, he just reaches that, into the bag later yeah. and just burns his hand. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> is the ah. is the party cool with hanging out with Ak for a little while and, and yeah. resting here to get back on the track? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. If if we can gather a campfire, I'll use Druidcraft to light it. Well that just seems too easy. I'll I'll cast produce flame to light it. No, I want to find more situations where we trick the goblin into using all its magic for simple things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's useless in the upcoming fight I'll... against the elephant. So I'll, I'll call lightning to strike the fire. Yeah. So on the plus side, um, nothing weird happens during the night as you guys just sort of, you know, shelter in, I imagine, at least a little bit away from the rocks here, mm -hmm. uh, not wanting to... I create a mud blanket. Oh, Gross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody want a scene or anything, or do we start back up the next day? We've done the thing. Uh, I think all the ones that I have in mind are going to come in later, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, the next day, then, we're just going to start right back off with another uh, nature and another survival. And now, oh, look. Ooh. Simon is here. Ah. So who... You want to roll else? nature for me, Simon? Yeah. <laughs> Dan, do you, do you want to roll that... Uh, what was the one that I rolled in survival? Well, my thought is, we have a new party member maybe better at this than us. Oh, yeah! I've got know. no bonuses. All right. Never mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll do the thing. What, what's Kalen have for nature? Oh, Simon. I think it's a two. I'm gonna try so it again. I think you're still the face. best. Dan and I are tied in survival. I'll do survival now. All right. Oh. Okay. You can't look at the camera. You can't say hi to everybody. Okay, so a little bit better of a nature. Oh, hi Zelda. You <laughs> you've come to grace us. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Survival is so vocal. Yeah. I, I clipped survival, but you go. Is there? Did like a pop, there pop up? Fourteen. Nice. 13, 14. Nice. Oh, okay. God. Right. Much better. Much better. So you're able to kind of, you know, take your bearings and follow the edge of the um, uh, rakers, I think, were the mountain range. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, yep. Keep them to your left as you kind of head, you know, back down into like the center of the pail, um, and and begin kind of following up and looking for, um, you know, Whiskey Hollow. Um, so on the plus side, you know, and and this is gonna take several weeks to get back. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the plus side, uh, there is a distinct lack of like really anything there's not much travel there's not many people out here um have uh has ak like gone this far before is he comfortable with that um i think he'd be a little nervous he usually doesn't go that far Mm -hmm. yeah so this is like a real change yeah he's he's pretty lazy Mm mm-hmm (laughs) <laughs> but, you know he he's not gonna tell anybody right it's kind like ah yes <laughs> keep a tough face or whatever mm-hmm. okay and ak was kind of was ak supposed to be helping us get there or just coming along with us i think coming along and then we were gonna help ak at the mountains oh, simon mm. Okay. Is that where you need to be right now? Yes. <laughs> that is exactly. It seems unlikely, but okay. Hi. Okay. Um, so pick somebody from your party to roll a d20 for me. This is not related to a skill. It's just a straight d20 roll. Who, who wants to... I uh, vote Squid or Riley. I rolled a bunch, or at least once, so I'm not going to do it. I had one really bad roll and one really good roll, so I don't want to risk it. Mm-hmm. Squid or Riley. Oh, shit. Oh? Failed at it. I also... Oh, can... Did you just type that, or is there oh, an actual hey. macro in the... Uh... Whoa! Can we use Val's roll? I know, right? It's a good roll. <laughs> I make his roll. Rolls. Oh, well. Okay. Um, oh, my. So we got oh, an shit. 18. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you, Mel. <laughs> Nobody okay. told him. Well, I mean, I th- I, like I said, I don't think it actually worked. Um, now I'm going to need a uh, squid roll a d12. Please, be good. Please have okay. a good all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, Danale, go ahead and roll a d12 as well. Okay. Good. Good. And Tristan, go ahead and roll a d12. I don't like that answer. Um, Riley, go ahead and roll a d12. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay. No overlap so far. I think that's... This is calculating the level of the next monster. <laughs> <Sheesh>. <laughs> and now we add them all up. <laughs> why was eight not a good and one? that's how many zombies we fight. <laughs> and, uh, Dan, go ahead and roll me two D35s. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, so eight and thirty. I don't like this number of rolls. Okay. Um This is revenge for not saving the turtle, yeah. Different <laughs> group, but also just as guilty. Okay, so I yeah. tried Oh, different turtle. Yeah. Different turtle. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Riley. I tried to search for a goblin, and it's just not like giving me anything. So if you can put something on for your character, that'll be cool. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to do that. Yeah. Um. You're not you're not next to the rivers anymore at this point. You've gone, you know, a lot but more. But it's such inland. a nice river. Yeah, it is a nice river. At this point, you've gone much more inland, though. Um. So I want to... Okay. Tell me, what's the marching order? Like, who, who's who's first, who's second, who's third? 
who has best perception? Uh, <laughs> I can probably be. Tw I think I have half decent perception. I'm pretty um, good at it. Uh, I, I'm not trained in it. I have four perception. I have half decent passive perception. Yeah, fourteen passive, five or for four for regular. I mean, I'd I'd be chill with being towards the front since if something jumps us, I generally am gonna want to be in the front to wild shape and get sure. punched in the face. Sure, I mean that's fine. I'll... Yeah, I think Nico's gonna be toward the back, um, just because he's got kind of extra baggage he's carrying. <laughs> effectively so he's going a little bit slower but mostly keeping up and wanting yeah. to keep a little bit of distance between the rest of the party and Anara. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Poofu's definitely keeping an eye on Anara. Yeah. So. The old G2 is going to be Anara just for the sake of having a token to move right now. Mm -hmm. Awfully suspicious. Oh. Is this mm -hmm. to do that. <laughs> so. Who's... Yeah, and then we need Kaylin and Poofu. Yeah, I think that's it. What about um, Axe? Oh, well, Axe getting himself a token. Dan, if you said oh. where you were going to be, I missed it. I apologize. All right, got it. We got Nico in the back, Drib in the front. Kaylin's probably good. Um, hmm. A little good. closer to the back. Closer oh, that's back. that's a really good goblin token. Yeah. <laughs> And then Poo I didn't I didn't catch where you wanted to be. Um it's I'm giving an eye on an R2, so close to Dan Lock. Okay, so we'll do something like this. How's that look? Sure. Okay. No, it seems okay. So Drib, when you're yeah. you're leading, you know, you're kind of trailblazing, you're keeping out perception and everything. What's mm -hmm. like do you hum little songs to yourself? Are you like scanning the horizon? Are you fixing things? You know, are you talking to Blossom? Like what's what's like a just you know, if we just took a random sample of the day? Um it, it would probably be like like lots of scanning the horizon, looking around like the domain of dread has a lot of rare uh like foliage we haven't seen a lot of people. Um, so keeping an eye out for th threats, looking to see if there's any like rare plants or anything that catches his, his eye. Um, probably not talking to Blossom much at the moment. He's like if he if he's in the lead, especially knowing that they're getting closer and closer to Ewok Spine Cornstalks. Uh, Drib's probably going to be mainly trying to just keep an eye out, but like he's got his staff, he's got Blossom on his shoulder, mm -hmm. like looking around, scanning the horizon. Okay. So you're you're walking staff out, blossom on the shoulder, mm -hmm. scanning the horizon, mm -hmm. you know, thinking about how things are and how things used to be. Go ahead and roll me your perception. Yep. Let me uh please be good. Oh, I'm sorry in advance, guy. Uh -oh. Okay. So you look out and what happens is you know, you're 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 looking and you're like, God, all these mountain ranges, they look the same. I just we're just walking through nothing, you know, and you turn and you see somebody running at you very low to the ground, very fast, with two kind of like uh, re reverse scimitars, maybe shotels, you're not entirely sure, right? And oh, they cool. close the different distance of about a hundred feet to, you know, just about into melee contact. You can see um, they are probably undead. Uh, they've got you know very pale like gray skin, and then the the all the flesh on one side of their jaw has been ripped away, but their mouth has been wired shut, and they go to stab you, and then you're just walking and just kind of tapping your wait. staff. So wait, wait. So I'm I'm I'm. Do I remember this happening? No. Hey, Kaboblin. What's a hey. uh, normal, you know, if we just had to take a snapshot of what's going on through your day, so you're just sort of traversing and kind of meeting these people, what are you doing? Eating food, uh, making jerky, talking to people. Yeah, it's probably, you know, he's got, like, his, like, lizards and fish and stuff on, like, through his spear that he's just kind of, like, gnawing at. Hmm. Okay. So you're just kind of like, you know, chewing on this 
lizard jerky, right? And you, you pull it off. And uh, roll me uh, 2d20. You have advantage on this because you're pretty skilled at this. So I want to know like, how delicious this meat is. All right. What? 2d20. Yeah. Okay, so 14. So, like, you've done better, but it's pretty good. And uh, what, like, what kind of lizard is this? Um, Rock lizard, tree lizard, gosh. water lizard, fire those lizard. Lizards, those lizards in Florida. I don't know what type of lizard they are. Like a salamander? A gecko? Yeah, it's like... <clears throat> what is it? It's, it's the ones that uh, they run out in front of you on the sidewalk and start doing push-ups. <laughs> oh, they have. And then they got like the little neck thing. That just yeah, yeah. The... Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I mean they're like snack size, so sure. you know, so I get a bag of them. For whatever reason, this is like one of your favorite snacks, right? Especially when they're a Baskin Grudewalla. Yeah, you know, Anolas, that's... that's what they are. What are they? Yeah. Anolas. Anolas. Uh, yeah, and I think it, you know, seasoned with just like you know a little bit of goblin spice and a little bit of you know like lime. Mm. Right? That's the good stuff. <laughs> and you just find yourself like, man, I wish I had another one. And then you turn to go, like, eat whatever, and there's another one on the end of your staff. Whoa. What? Uh, I take it and I eat it. And is there another one after that? Yeah, you so see you eat it and you're like, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's not like your best work, but it's pretty good. And I really like when, you know, like you get you rub that goblin spice on, you kinda of slow roast it, hit it with a little bit of lime. Goblin spice. And uh man, I could really Hey, there's another one. Oh no. Am I in a loop? <laughs> so Puvu, tell me about what it's like when you're kinda traveling long distances with this crew. Especially now that you've got like this weird new guy with you. Um so I think he's trying to prove that he can keep up. Um, his stride is much lower, much smaller, and so he's trying to prove that, like, you know, he can still he can still keep up with everybody. He doesn't need to be the, the one that they're looking back and checking on. He's looking back and checking on somebody else. Uh, in this case, it's an arm. So uh, he's doing that. Um, he feel like now is like being a little bit of a protector. Um, and so that's that's what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. So he's just keeping up on her, keeping up on her, um, because he's kind of equipped to handle undead. He's looking. He he kind of is feeling a little bit more specialized, and that's his protector role is protecting with that subset of threat. Mm-hmm. So. It's his, kind of his, he's taking that as his responsibility. Okay. So what is happening then that gives you, like, cause for alarm? Is it that she has, like, broken out of her bindings? That she's, like, gonna grab somebody? Like... I think he's just constantly on edge because she is mindless. You know, everybody else around here, even though they are, you know, varying forms of undead, they've died and come back. Um, she doesn't have the consciousness and that doesn't sit well with him mm-hmm. so he um he can't talk he can't persuade he can't reason with uh and appeal to the humanity and so he's scared and so he's just constantly looking over his shoulder making sure that everything's okay he you know he heard what um nico said but at the same time he knows that he might be blinded a little bit by how he feels for her so mm-hmm Okay, so are you, like, struggling with your inner turmoil about, like, bringing this to him? Where you're, yeah. like, you, you're biased, and we know you're biased, and you know you're biased. Right, and so, like, he's, like, on the, on, visibly, um, he's going to look like he's supportive of this. Um, he's not. <laughs> um, he's not trusting uh, that this is a good idea, having... Uh, you know, mindless undead with us, Mm -hmm. um, regardless of the circumstances. And he's going to pretend that he's going to let Nico be in charge of it, but he's going to always be at the ready. Mm -hmm. Uh, Even though he said to him that he's, you know, going to pay attention and wait for his go. When it comes down to it, if it really does look like a danger and Nico doesn't say something, 
um, you will act. Okay. And so, like, what's the scenario that's happening when you're like, oh, shit, it, it's, it's time for me to act. I gotta oh. do the thing. I'm sorry. So what happened is, I think he's he's watching her and um maybe nico's kind of you know he's gotten a little bit complacent because he's either one just might be tired from having you know having to focus on this all the time and he has one like glance away at something else and i notice that she gets kind of like that hungry like look and like it seems like she's going towards him mm, okay and that's what Boo thinks is happening gotcha and so, like, what's the part that you're, like, struggling? Is it, like, bringing to him that he's, like, not going to be able to handle this situation on his own? Um, yeah, and because he's, you know, supposed to kind of obey adults, and also especially one that, like, has obvious strong feelings, like, priests, you know, aren't supposed to really meddle until people come to them for help unless there's like an imminent like danger and threat <clears throat> um and that's kind of what he's been taught all along but it's conflicting with imminent threat so mm. okay he's he's just kind of all paranoid a little bit and what are you doing as you're kind of like moving across you know traveling these great distances with this new guy here um Checking, rechecking spells, um, making sure he knows all the incantations correctly, that he knows um, that his weapon is ready, even though he's never really used it. <laughs> um, you know, making sure it's ready. Um, you know, any any time there's there's a break, he's you know, just just constantly checking. He's always on edge now that there's he's feeling feeling outnumbered even. Um, mm -hmm. So, because you know, Nico might be me might be resistant so he might be a two-on-one scenario and he has not like that, that idea and what is it that happens in the moment where you're like oh now is the time to act um yeah he sees he sees um shamble kind of quickly towards uh nico when his back is turned okay at the risk of asking it several more times i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the next one what i would i don't I'm not following something. It's okay. Then it's working as intended. Hey, Kaylin. What's going on <laughs> as you're moving across the uh, the taiga here, traveling with this new guy? Uh, she's keeping an eye on the goblin, keeping an eye around uh, their flanks and everything. And um, <clears throat> probably annoyed she wants to help Nico knows that she's probably going to need their help wants to get this done fast but they seem to keep uh, taking longer and longer to do this what do you mean like we keep taking breaks and stopping and mm. going in other directions okay so I imagine yours is very similar to Pubu's then is like feeling the like the impetus to, to go and needing people to uh... move a little faster okay so how do you react then when you know about 100 feet out you see something moving low to the ground uh, across the you know the the taiga here two weapons drawn uh she draws her dagger and gets ready to meet it hmm okay <laughs> Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Damn. Wow. Holy All right. shit. So this thing is moving, you know, <clears throat> it moves 100 feet in six seconds, you know what I mean, at, at speed with weapons ready to draw. And as it brings the weapon up, you, what, like jump in front of uh, Drib? To block it, or do you let it swing and you attack it while it's distracted? She'll wait till it starts to swing and then jump in and get in, um, to like the critical zone. Mm. Okay. So, Drib, 
this time when it runs in and rushes before you feel that welt of pain that comes from, you know, a massive and fatal, you know, sucking wound. Uh, mm-hmm. Kaelin has gotten in the way of this creature and, you know, stabbed it in the head. And then it keeps swinging its weapons anyways. Oh. And then you're just walking across the desert. And I don't remember mo- it. Checking the mountain range. <sighs> And Pubu is looking back at Anara, wondering if he should say anything. And Axe eating a fish. A lizard. And in a couple of the lizard. And in a couple <laughs> seconds, something's gonna rush me. Kaylin's gonna jump in, stab it, but it's still gonna be swinging. So Dan, as you're going through, you know, the taiga here, walking overland for these couple days. You know, it, it's it's not terribly exciting, but is there like excitement from having Anara with you? Like you're 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 close to your your destination. Uh, honestly, I, I don't think excitement is it. I think it's um, paranoia, anxiety. I think he's seeing all the like shifty looks that the rest of the party is giving him, um, and he's getting very. It's only one look. It's just frustrated. A yeah. lot of looks. Yeah. All of the looks. Well, it's it's Kaylin and um, Puvu who are closest to him right now. Yeah. Who are kind of like visibly showing frustration. So, you know, this is just playing on repeat in his mind. Um, and can you remind me, did we keep the tarot cards from the beginning? Like yes. episode one? Yeah. It was noted so, that they were kept. Yep. So, Nico's been kind of like. Uh, almost doing like prestidigitation with his tarot card, the beast, and like just starting to you know flick it more aggressively, and um, you know, just like really feeling that that rage, and you know, through he's got the amber that's mingling with it, and kind of has maybe tainted the card and transferred some of its energy to it as well, um, and he's just he's on edge. He's very anxious and. Um, likewise getting kind of frustrated with the party he's like ready to snap at any moment um and combining that with not knowing if he's making the right decision here Mm. okay i'm really tempted to just ask the question again but i won't which who you and everyone which question this the, the the question what what are you doing yeah so um um, I think because the combat's going to take a while, I think that we're probably going to call it a little early. How does that feel for everybody? Well, give me time to figure out everything because my uh-huh. character sheet's Oops. about 100% done. Yeah, I think that's fine because I... There are some things that, you know, if combat's next, it does still give me time, but there are some things that I want to figure out for my character in the next episode anyway. Hmm. Um, on the plus side, the timing also works such that uh, everyone will level to six um, from Ooh. the rests, if you are not already level six. Um, mm-hmm. And then we'll have some time to, to work on that and get it up to snuff. Nice. Um, the Does anyone want a particular scene? Um, it would be... Or more or less a replay of what you described already, but you can like subtly shift it. Um, so, th- is there any recollection, like even even a deja vu, like literally anything? You, you know my response to this, right? No. Roll d twenty, get a seven. Oh. Uh, it's never been done. <sighs> you did one already. It's never Wait. been done. With a modifier. Wait. 17. Dang it. Uh, should we all do that? Uh, I, no, I think I... when we start the next episode, I'm good with that. Um, okay. To say if anybody has started to piece together what's going on. Because mm-hmm. um, instead... I, I, I was going to do that, try and shift what I was doing, the yeah. whole being attacked thing, uh, and trying to actually defend a little more, maybe even begin to beast shape if this thing's going to stab at me. Yeah. But if I don't know, it's coming. Yeah. So what happens here is um, the camera pans out and understands what's going on, even if the party members <laughs> don't, obviously. And we see um, an altar 
just this ancient weathered yellow sandstone you know cyclopean (laughs) rock in the middle of the only way to describe it would be um like a, a grassy patch that has not been allowed to grow because people have been walking on it so much and for so long right and ensorcelled in it are probably a dozen or so people um and we would linger on the party members right all walking disjointed around it around this altar in circles um and some people we don't recognize here and uh underneath the party you know ground into the earth trampled into dust are old bones from people who died wandering around this thing unknowingly right from never having gotten out of its grasp and we would huh do we recognize any of the other people who are walking uh at this time no we're, okay. we, it shot a little too far away. Instead, we close up on each of the party members, and they would form this like thin Samurai Jack style, like right, because and, and we get just like a half shot of their their faces, and everyone's <laughs> eyes are clouded over with this kind of slowly growing kind of snake like, but that's not what it is. It's just behaving like that, um, black, you know, uh, spiral. Right, so clouded over gray eyes with this spiral that's just endlessly coiling around inside their mind. Lovely. Got to get back back to the present. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we end episode 25, Raven's Bottle. The Electric Lovely. Podcast, Curse of Greyhawk, City of Gold. Once again, thank Very you nice. to Tristan for the huge recap you did today. Let it not no be problem. that was a huge undertaking. Thank you all for joining me and playing tonight. We ran still about as long as we normally do, although it was a little less game time, so I do apologize for that. Um, hopefully uh, we'll get everybody's character squared away and we'll come back at it in two weeks. Um, big strong. Big, big strong. strong. Big strong. <laughs> Um, before we get out of here, I will just say I'm very excited. It seems to be completely solidified and squared away. Um, we're back here in one week next Thursday running Paranoia. Um, it'll be our second session of the Paranoia game. Um, Praise friend computer. Praise friend computer. Praise the friend computer. Before that session, we're actually going to do an interview with, uh, Daniel Fox of, uh, Zweihander and Grim and Perilous Studios. Um, he's going to come on the stream and talk a little bit about um, his process and kind of growing uh, a tabletop stream and uh, a brand in general. Reached out oh, to wow. him uh, last week and to add a, had a couple questions, and he was like, you know, what do you think about just me coming on the stream? So we're going to start plugging that away on social media um, over uh, next week. What day will that be? Uh, that'll be Thursday, right before the normal uh, stream. Okay. So, yeah, well, oh, sorry, I clicked uh, the 16th. So 4.16, cool. he'll come on. We'll, we're probably going to budget about an hour, maybe a little over. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be questions we've already like set up to ask or if he's going to do a little bit of a live Q&A, but I imagine you know we can we can do kind of a hybrid. Oh, cool. Yeah. So Be there, and then be back here in two weeks uh, to see if the party survives or if we add to the bone piles. Mm. Absolutely. Bone piles. Well. I don't want my Kabbalah to die like the first second in the encounter. Drew's got, I'll be so Drew's mad. Got things to do. He's already doing better than his last iteration, which did that. That's the first true. Session. He made it one oh session. <laughs> so much more. Goblin? Yeah. Uh, anybody got anything they want to plug? Um, yeah, uh, we're still doing. Uh, Mark and I are still doing our podcast. Uh, guess what podcast you can check us out on all the major listed platforms and also follow us on facebook uh, uh, facebook honey guess what and uh yeah just uh, basic information lighthearted, good news and learning at times with trying to throw some entertainment in there too so go check that out please absolutely yeah, honey guess what podcast uh, my next league race will be Saturday at 8 p.m. So that's twitch.tv slash Olhado. 
uh, racing Zelda Link to the Past Randomizer. It, this week of the league is a co-op mode where one person has the spoiler log of where all the items are, mm-hmm. and the other person's playing the seat blind. So oh, I'll boy. have someone telling me everywhere to go. And it's usually a lot of fun, pretty quick in comparison, because you know where all the items are, mm-hmm. um, but usually a low percent way of racing the game. Gotcha. Check out people's various things, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out uh, the Electric Dice podcast, uh, twitch.tv slash themday, of course, and on other social media as, is it like eDice? Yeah, typically uh, e- yeah. eDice on Instagram, yeah. Twitter. Facebook, cool. I believe we have a Tumblr. We do have a Tumblr, although there's not much on it. Gotcha. We have a uh, Discord that I don't know how joining that would happen. If... Yeah, I don't know either. We could probably get that squared away, though, right, Riley? Discord? Yeah, yeah just to get okay. people into the we, D&D chat and whatever. Yeah. We can have special yeah. behind-the-scenes content, like the uh, eight-and-a-third-page recap of the past however many episodes. 24. <laughs> riddled, with tw- with, riddled with spelling errors. Just riddled with spelling <laughs> errors. That's good. Squid, yeah. you streaming tonight? No, probably not again until maybe Monday. I gotta find a new game. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for playing chat. Thanks for hanging out, Val. Thank you for your roll of eighteen. You set us off on a evil time or uh, time travely loopy. Oh, did uh, we need lo- a low roll for that? Didn't matter. It just things were what they were. Oh. But that was the one that was time travel, which was like, oh, goody. Oh come mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. All right. We're uh... out of here. All right, have a good night, everyone. Good night, bye. 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 bye.